This problem is from beta and gamma functions. So we have to show that gamma n is equal to integral 0 to 1 log 1 by x power n minus 1 into dx. So here is the solution for this. So we have from the definition of y, the definition of gamma function. By the definition of the gamma function, we have gamma n is equal to gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x power n minus 1 into dx. So in this equation we have to put so here is the substitution that we have to put x is equal to log 1 by y. So this will become x is equal to log y inverse. So, x can be written as minus log y and here minus x is equal to log y. So, if I make a derivative, so if I take log, so this will become e power minus x is equal to y. So, here if I make a derivative on both sides, then minus e power minus x into dx is equal to dy. So, dx value will be minus dy by e power minus x. So, what is e power minus x here? So, e power minus x is nothing but y. So, if I keep the same thing here, then our dx value will be minus dy by in place of e power minus x, I am going to write y. So, this is the thing we have to remember. And the next one here, so if x is equal to 0, what happens here when you keep in this so this is integral 0 to 1. See here this is integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x power n minus 1 into dx is equal to gamma n. So here in our substitution here x is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 if I put in this equation that is x is equal to log 1 by y. So x in place of x I have to keep 0. So 0 is equal to this is log 1 by y. So, what value will be <clears throat> y in order to get 0? So, if y is equal to 1, log 1 is equal to 0. So, if we put x is equal to 0, we got y value as 1. So, again, if I keep x is equal to infinity here, so if I keep x is equal to infinity, so in which equation? x is equal to, this is log 1 by y. So, this in place of x, if I keep infinity here, infinity is equal to, this is log 1 by y. So, y value will be, when we will get infinity here, 1 by 0 will be infinity. So, y value is 0 here. So, these are all the limits here. So, if we, if you substitute all the limits here, if we keep all the sub limits here in this equation, so we have gamma n is equal to, see here, gamma n is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e power minus x, x power n minus 1 into dx. So what are all the substitutions we have to keep? So we have to keep x is equal to in place of x, I am going to write. So in place of x, I am going to write log 1 by y and e power minus x is nothing but see here e power minus x is nothing but y here and what is dx value so dx value is again just i'll show you dx value is nothing but minus dy by y so this is minus dy by y and the limits here are so for x is equal to for x is equal to 0 so we have y as 1 y value as 1 for x is equal to infinity we have y value as we have y value as 0. So, these are all the substitutions which we have to keep in this equation. Then gamma n value will become, see here, gamma n will become, so here for x is equal to, for x is equal to 0, I am going to keep y is equal to 1 and for x is equal to infinity here, I am going to keep y is equal to 0 in place of e power minus x. What I have to write? I have to write y here and in place of x, so what is x value? x is nothing but log 1 by y power n minus 1 and in place of dx I have to substitute minus dy by y. 
so in this substitution gamma n value will become so minus i am bringing out this side and this is 1 to 0 this is y and this value is uh, log 1 by y power n minus 1 and this is dy by y so now i can cancel this y so after cancelling this y see here gamma n value can be written as so i have to interchange now i can interchange lower limit to upper limit and upper limit to lower limit so with this minus so this value is log 1 by y power n minus 1 into ty so now we can write in terms of x therefore gamma n value is equal to integral 0 to 1 log of 1 by x power this is n minus 1 into dx so this is what it is asked to show that and let me show you the question here so it was asked to show that gamma n is equal to integral uh, 0 to 1 log 1 by x power n minus 1 into dx so gamma n is equal to integral 0 to 1 log 1 by x n power n minus 1 into dx we got and so see here so from the definition of the gamma function we have gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus x x power n minus 1 into dx so in this we have to put x is equal to log 1 by y and after solving this we got y value as e power minus x and again the dx value is minus dy by e power minus y we have e power minus y as y therefore in terms of y dx is equal to minus dy by y and here also this is the gamma function in the gamma function if x is equal to 0 then y value will become 1 and if x is equal to infinity y is equal to 0 so if i substitute all these in the gamma function so this is the gamma function so we have here so this is the substitution which you have to remember x is equal to log 1 by y and uh, we know that y is equal to e power minus y from the calculation and again after deriving on both sides we got dy as minus dy by y after keeping all these in this equation and after changing the limits so we got gamma n is equal to integral 0 to 1 log 1 by x power n minus 1 into dx thank you so much for watching and this is also most most important question if you practice you can definitely do by your own and pass it on to your friends and leave a comment below and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching and staying till the end